boom, it writes itself. All right, let's go up this purple and into this even. Mother. Oh, this like fuchsia. Mother. Fuchsia. Maker. It can't be. Serana, is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Oh shit, she's got Bram Serana, Stoker hair. What are you doing <laughs> Yo. here? When we had last left the last dragonborn, they had entered the deepest reaches of the forbidden of, of the secret area Let's of Castle Volokar. It was in there that they uncovered Valerica's hidden laboratory, and a portal was. Would be right at my home gosh, she's really hitting the wrong. Cicero, <laughs> and, and activated here, a weird secret portal to none other than the soul cairn entering there it was that the dragonborn in serana had hoped to find valerica her mother and an elder scroll that would perhaps lead them to vampire good times this is the elder scrolls 5 skyrim welcome back Zoop. My god. Jeez, Serrano, what's going on? You used to never talk this much. Alright. She really- she was like giving Cicero a run for his money. In fact, you know what? Good thing Cicero couldn't come in here, huh? <laughs> Imagine the both of them, they'd be interrupting one another. Alright. Well, let's continue on down the main line, like we had said last time. Alright. And then, we'll do our little, like, exploration around because there is quite a bit of uh, stuff that we need to tend to in this area and also evidently this is actually upon uh, going back and editing the video it is it is oblivion we are in a plane of oblivion according to Serana of course you know uh, open to interpretation and all that uh, but this is a plane of oblivion I wonder if you can see like on the periphery water or something Right? I wonder if you can actually, like, see all of that. But it isn't like a normal plane of oblivion, right? Because it's it's not directly like Cold Harbor. I guess in a sense it belongs to- oh, hey! <laughs> well, that was pretty easy. <laughs> there's, uh, there's Arvac, right? Yeah. Hey, what's up with you? Must stay away from the Keepers. Right. Must stay away from the Keepers. Okay. I guess Arvac is just gonna be, like, running around, chilling out, out here. <laughs> Man, looking like fucking Kingsfield out here, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I guess sort of in line with other books that we have read before, I think mostly in Oblivion. But, um, there is conjecture, there is, like, theory, there's talk of how, like, divine beings get power in the world of the Elder Scrolls, and, like, Adra and Daedra sort of have, like, a Santa Claus effect going on, where, like, the more people believe in their power, whether it's for good or ill, right, they sort of also confer some, some sort of strength from that. And minor spirits and, like, dead souls and beings and all of that will get more power the more people there are that, like, believe in their existence. Or believe in their strength, or their, like, ability to exert their will upon various planes of existence and all of that, right? And I wonder if that holds true for this place, right? Maybe this... Where'd you come from? This is tied to Cold Harbor? I don't know. Or maybe it's completely separate from Cold Harbor. But either way, the yeah. Ideal Masters are probably yeah. undergoing a similar situation where... Yeah. By way of... Like, if these spirits keep yeah. dying and all that, right? Yeah. If the souls keep being killed and, like, trapped in black soul gems... And then, like, effectively damned to exist here and persist in this plane forever... Then, like, you're constantly That's accruing you. more and more folks to think of their their power, right? Like, is the idea that the Ideal Masters, like, built this place? I guess? Okay. 
Like, eventually they will become a major threat. I don't know. There we are. This a-hole. Should we explore this building while we're over here? I feel like we ought to not. And then we'll just backtrack. After we get what we're officially here for, you know? Let's see, what have you got? Just some goodies. There we are. Just as well, um, so many folks wrote in with uh, various bits of information and all that. Uh, evidently, the Ideal Masters, we have met them! They're the crystals! They're the, the big suck-you-off crystals that we ran into. That was one of them. At least in whatever form they're currently in. Right? And like we said, it may be that we could see them alter in form if they want to have this be like a through line going forward in future installments of the game. You know, we could see them crop up again as they like garner power from uh, black soul gems or anything, you know, just more people coming to like, I don't know, will them into existence, right? It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy sort of situation. But, um, pretty wild. And also, folks wrote in that, uh, sorry, I didn't take notes. <laughs> Apologies, I've got a little bit of a headache as well, so we'll see how long this one goes on for. But I'm feeling pretty good right now, uh, to be fair. Uh, maybe it's just, like, the idea of exploring all this has got me going. But, 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 but. Um. Oh, good lord, what was I saying? Let's see, but... Ideal Masters. Oh yeah, they were in not even Daggerfall, but Battle Spire, if you can believe it. That's where they're originally from. In the Book of Rest and Endings, like we theorized, it didn't start out in Morrowind, but it didn't start out in Daggerfall either. It started out in Battle Spire. Really wild. How just how deep they dug for this. You know? It's always kind of fun. You know, if anything, I, I would be really into seeing more skulls here that are clearly from creatures that we don't know. You know? That would be really wild. Because, like, also here, consider this. When the, when the Dwemer disappeared, right? Did that affect every plane of existence? Like, if there existed Dwemer that were trapped inside of a black soul gem, and they were sent to here upon use of the enchanted, uh, or of the, of the gem of the enchantment or whatever, however exactly it works, when they disappeared, were they removed then from every plane of existence? Or could, like, there have been, like, a small pocket of Dwemer hiding out somewhere, you know? Could there be some here? Maybe they are the ideal masters, right? Maybe that's them. Maybe they're Dwemer. I don't fucking know. That'd be a fun little reveal, though. If it's like, yeah, these, these actually, these, this horrific sort of otherworldly being, it's actually more worldly than you would think, right? And look at this. Look at all the swirly shit. Holy hell. I don't remember it being so far out here. Or looking this cool. Look at that. Holy shit! Looks like some fucking Bloodborne shit, to be fair. Oh my god. Alright. Can we climb up this? There's something cool going on here? Alright. Well, not really. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, there's no... <laughs> no reason to really do it. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Sure. But yeah, this is, um... I sort of forgot... Oh, look. Hey, look who it is. I sort of forgot about the gravity of the situation here in the Soul Cairn. And although, like, a lot of the vampire shit... Seems like it won't be too involved going forward... Like, like, shit with the Volokar vampires, like, I, d I don't know. It could turn up in a future game or whatever, right? But, shit with the Soul Cairn, you know? The Ideal Masters and everything? It seems like very clear setup for future games going forward, whether it's Elder Scrolls Six 
or Look beyond. At the sky. You know? What kind of place is this? And it would be perfect to be like, oh yeah, shit. We're having a fucking run in with the ideal masters. We need someone who's been there before, right? All of a sudden, boom, enter fan favorite old character everybody knows and loves, Serana, back again as a new follower in this future game. Boom, it writes itself. All right, let's go up this purple and into this even, oh, this is like fuchsia, fuchsia. Mother! Maker, it can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Oh Someone. shit, she's got what Bram Stoker here? hair! Where's Yo! <laughs> he doesn't know where he is. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Oh my god, Falcon's I forgot about her Bram Stoker's he Dracula ass no, hair. You've got it all wrong. We're here to complete the prophecy our way. Holy not his. shit. Wait a minute. Sorry, Serata, sorry. You brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? I've been keeping her safe. I've saved her from your foolish plan. I'm just here for the Elder Scroll. <laughs> I'm just here for the Elder Scroll. Glorious. Serana claims you're her guardian, yet your first instinct appears to be greed. Yep, that's me. I see that my daughter is still as naive as ever. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. That's why I'm here. For the Elder Scroll. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. What? What do you mean? When I fled Castle Volkahar, I fled Volkahar. with two Elder Scrolls. Oh. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. How does Serana fit in? Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Bal. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Right. The Tyranny of the Sun requires Serana's blood? Serana underwent this ritual willingly? Cold Harbor? Oh shit. Which one will progress? I feel like the top one will. So let's let's try and see if we can exhaust these two. Serana underwent this ritual willingly? It was expected of her. Just as it was expected of me. Being selected as an offering to Molik Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on that. Cold Harbor? It's what some call the domain of Molik Ball. His place in oblivion. Okay. Do we ever learn why they decided to, like, be down with Molag Bal to begin with? Because, like... Molag Bal's, like, one of the worst ones, <laughs> right? Like, I'd sooner be down for fucking Lord Dagon than I would be Molag Bal, right? <laughs> like, I don't know. If I'm picking and choosing, like, Molag Bal gotta be at the bottom of my fucking list. <laughs> Uh, the tyranny of the sun requires Serana's blood? Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. Are you saying Harkon means to kill her? What's also interesting about this is this, like, I don't know if this was ever confirmed into fact in a prior instance of the game, but for me at least this is where it happened. Elder Scrolls can exist and persist in other planes of existence. They aren't bound to, like, um, Mundus, right? They can exist beyond Mundus, beyond Nern. Are you saying Harkon means to kill her? If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, 
she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. I would never allow that to happen. <laughs> Hang on, can't you... Can you allow that to happen, or... Or am I mistaken? Can't... Can't that happen? <laughs> I would never allow that to happen. I'm playing a good character. And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? I'll kill Harkin. I'll need your help. Perhaps her death is destined. I'll need your help. <laughs> Isn't that just another way of saying, like, I'll kill you instead? <laughs> uh, I'll need your help. Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. My presence on Tamriel is as much of a danger as hers. And Serana's opinion in this? You care nothing for Serana. Or our plight. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. Serana believes in me, why won't you? Serana? This stranger may call himself a vampire, but he knows nothing of our struggle. Why should I entrust you to him? This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's... changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Oh, Serana. If you'd only open your eyes... The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Damn. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, you're still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Okay. Do you have the Elder Scroll with you? Yes. <laughs> Straight I've to fucking business, baby. <laughs> ever since I was imprisoned. <laughs> Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. Well, what do we need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of that Destroy before. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. Right. A barrier fueled by their souls. The souls of ghosts. Almost like a, a fence. A ghost fence. <laughs> well, we'll return soon. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Dernavir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. Eh, you're in the luck. The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Just so happens I'm incredibly exactly the perfect person for fighting a dragon. If I leave the Soul Cairn, can I safely return? As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become attuned to it. Disgusting. Let's just say, a tiny part of you rubbed off on it. Ooh, it gets and worse. In its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. Oh no. <laughs> you should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Okay, that almost sounds like something... Some, a tease for the future, you know? Okay, how did you become imprisoned here? When I entered the Soul Cairn, I had intended to strike a bargain with the Ideal Masters, the custodians of this place. What was the bargain? I requested refuge in the Soul Cairn. And in exchange, I would provide the Ideal Masters the souls that they crave. If I had foreseen the value they placed on my own soul, I would never have come here. Mm-mm, they tricked you. 
The ideal masters unleashed their keepers and sent them to destroy me. Fortunately, I was able to hold them at bay and retreat into these ruins. You became trapped. What do you What do you eat in here by the way? What do you drink? How come you ain't all nasty if you ain't sucking anybody off out here? You became trapped. Unfortunately, yes. Since the keepers weren't able to claim my soul, they had their minions construct a barrier that I'd never be able to breach. Yeah, like who is she sucking off out here? Right? I mean, I know she's got the funny Bram Stoker haircut, right? Fucking love it, honestly. I can't believe we finally found an NPC in a game uh, who has it, right? Literally, we've played a vampire game and nobody had the vampire uh, Bram Stoker cut until now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, right? I'm pretty sure. But, um... How come she's hot, <laughs> right? Why is she so hot? Shouldn't be, shouldn't she be looking like fucking Ron Perlman in Beauty and the Beast for real? I don't know. All right, you've been in prison here all this time. Time has very little meaning to me. Consequently, it has little meaning to the ideal masters as well. I suppose you could call this the ultimate waiting game. Each watching the other to see which will give in. Is that Gordon pushing me? Hey, who are the Ideal Masters? I know very little about them. Damn. They're mystic entities that lord over the Soul Cairn, controlling every aspect from its fabric to its appearance. What do they resemble? Well, some necromancers believe they are the crystalline structures oh, dotting believe. the Soul Cairn. I believe there's more to it than that. Oh, it's not even set in stone. Because <laughs> they're crystals. How so? I think they transcend what we perceive as a physical form. Right. Perhaps they were once corporeal beings. Oh, yeah. They obviously reached a point where they no longer require a tangible presence. Oh, my God. What a creepy noise, Rise. You told me that. And the crystals? Conduits. Through which the ideal masters speak to their underlings and feed on their victims. Why would they require sustenance? The ideal master's weakness is their insatiable hunger for pure souls. It's the reason for the Soul Cairn's existence, and the only leverage a necromancer has when bargaining with them. Okay. What do the masters provide in return? Or I could see them being like Akaviri in nature as well, right? Um, if we want to disregard Dwemer. I'm, I'm just throwing Dwemer out there because, you know, it's such a big fun mystery, but... Akaviri makes way more sense because um, the Akaviri snake folks, they were, they're super duper into vampirism, right? For whatever reason, they were just all about being vampires and many of them um, are, right? I'm pretty sure there's like a whole region of Akavir that is just like vampires. Anyway, what do the masters provide in return? The ability to summon powerful undead guardians as one would conjure an Atronach or Daedra. However, the majority of necromancers that are foolish enough to enter into a bargain with the Ideal Masters wind up here as harvested souls. Yeah, necromancers do be pretty dumb. Does Mana Marco in um, ESO ever talk about the Ideal Masters? I could see that being a reality, right? Depending on how old the Ideal Masters are. Why haven't you pursued the prophecy? Harkon's vision is a world plunged in eternal darkness, where the vampire can flourish, and never again fear the tyranny of the sun. What he fails to realize is how much attention would be called to our kind if the prophecy came to fruition. What sort of attention? If eternal night fell, there are many who wouldn't stand for it. They would raise armies in attempts to return things to normal. The order of the day would be our destruction, until every last vampire was hunted down and eliminated. So you prefer living in the shadows? I don't know, that seems kind of like a flimsy excuse, like... Like, what are you gonna do? Like, what are they gonna do about it, <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know, like it... Like, maybe, maybe they'll come around. Maybe they'll be like, shit, you know what? This kind of sucks. Maybe we should all be vampires. <laughs> all right, so you prefer living in the shadows? I do. It's how the vampire has survived for millennia 
and the only way we can continue to survive in the future. Oh, you're like a traditionalist then. Is that your excuse? You're like a traditionalist? Like, this is how vampires should be. Huh. Weird. I don't know, like, Harkon is seeming... The dichotomy between her and Harkon is very peculiar to me. Right? Like, the family dynamic and stuff, sure, you know, it's it's a fun enough story and everything. But the dichotomy between, like, the beliefs of Valerica and Harkon is really odd. Like, in this situation, Harkon is the one true to Molag Bal now. For whatever reason, like, I don't know, she divorced Harkon so bad, she decided to give up her faith, right? Is that it? She decided to, like, um, be heretical toward Molag Bal and forsake Molag Bal, despite, like, literally <laughs> becoming a daughter of Cold Harbor and doing the same thing to her, 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 to her own daughter. She hated her husband so much, she gave all of that up. Is that- is that the read? Or is she the one that's truer to Molag Bal? And Harkon is on some new shit. Right? Let's kill those keeper things and get back to the prison. Okay. Serana, what do you have to say about all this? The better. Look, just pretend your mom ain't there. There's like a weird purple barrier in the way. She can't even come over here. Do you think we'll meet the ideal masters? I think we asked this before, but it lit back up. I don't think anyone's ever met the Ideal Masters. I'm not even sure anyone knows what they look like. They could be underground, flying above us. They might be the ground, I, I have no idea. Why are they collecting these souls? This might be new. Lots of theories. Some say they feed on them like I feed on blood. Others think they use them as payment to an even higher power. Yeah, we Almost like this. a currency. A very strange currency. Whatever they're doing with them, they've been harvesting for millennia. No telling how many souls are trapped here. Why would a necromancer want to deal with them? Look we'll just around. skip through this. Even a necromancer as seasoned as my mother. Some of them. Exactly. But bringing something from the soul cairn gives you... Oh, oh that's it. But to finalize the deal, you have to travel here yourself. And most of them never come back. Okay. Yeah, let's try this. How are you feeling after talking to your mother? Relieved, I think. All those things have been building for a while. You have no idea how long I wanted to say that to her. Why did you ever agree to her plan? Look, I loved my father, but when he found that prophecy, that became his life. Everything else, even me and my mother, we just became clutter. I was close with my mother, but she just kept feeding me her opinions of him and eventually I started believing them. She doesn't seem too fond of him. It sounds like you already don't- didn't like him much. She doesn't seem too fond of him. The moment we gave ourselves to Molik Ball, things got really icy between them. They were both drunk with power, and pulling in different directions. And then he found that prophecy, and... that was it. And you were caught in the middle. I was. Honestly, it took me up until now to figure out that my mother was really just as bad as he was. He was obsessed with power. She was obsessed with seeing him fail. It was just so... toxic. Maybe wow. I could have seen Ahead of its coming. time. We could all be better off now. <laughs> right? From fucking, like, 2011 or 2012, I guess, at this rate? Referring to a relationship as toxic? That's- that feels so, like, uh, ten years later. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, you shouldn't blame yourself. Probably didn't have anything to do with you. Sounds like they were both being selfish. Probably didn't have anything to do with you. Now, let's say this. You shouldn't blame yourself. You don't know what it's like coming from a family like that. Everything eventually tumbles down to you. Anyway, we should keep moving. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about that? You're a pickpocket? No? If you want that scroll, the barrier needs to come down. Okay, okay. Let's kill those keeper things and get back to the prison. Yeah, let's find a keeper. Can we look at a map or anything like that? Oh god. It's like Black Reach all over again. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, well, let's pick one of these little doohickeys on our map, I guess. Do we have a miscellaneous quest tracked as well? Oh shit, we do. Okay. Sure. You know what? We are out here running around. May as well do this too, then. Right? Okay. 
Let's check this little structure. Why not? Okay. Come here. Yeah, well, let, let's go in the appropriate way. Oh, hey, is there anything in this alcove? Nah. Alright. Sure enough. True enough. Oh, look at this! Hey, Serana, what's this doing here? What is this doing here? <laughs> hey, how'd this get here? Someone put this in a black soul chip? <laughs> okay. Another page of the opus. There we are. Good. Alright. There we are. Great. Okay. Good, good, good. Hey, who... <laughs> hey, who's this Jub guy, by the way? You know, all the, the opus stuff? Who is that? You know? I don't know who that guy is. How can we keep finding his opus? I mean, we'll read it when we get all the pieces, but... Who's that? <laughs> okay. Anything else around here on these, like, fun little ramparts? Gotta be, right? There's definitely some stairs leading elsewhere. Okay. Oh, no, that, that may be it. Alright. Oh, no, here we go. Going up higher. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Good thing this headache's going away, otherwise this would not be good for it. <laughs> Jesus. It's like someone pressed stop on their fucking VCR. You like that one? No? <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we are. You know, I feel like that that's a good instance of like, sure, people who were around and kicking for like the prevalence of VCRs obviously are going to know that. But I think a lot of like younger folks and stuff will know about like the blue screens from VCRs and all of that when you would stop them. Almost all of them would do that. Have the like blue root menus and everything. Right? I feel like even though it wasn't from your time, like, I feel like the majority of younger folks would still know by way of, like, a cultural uh, osmosis, you know? Give some folks some credit, you know? Alright. Let's head on over here. Good, good, good. And shit, there's plenty of, like, um, modern, current day, very recent things that utilize that aesthetic and people find out about it that way, right? Like I said, cultural osmosis. Let's head on over here. Can we can we get over here? Ah, uh, here's the barrier. Okay. It is a very from soft feeling environment. You know, it feels very from soft, <laughs> doesn't it? It feels very much like we're in a fucking dark soul or some shit. Okay. Or a king's field. Let's go on over here. Oh, yes! Ooh, look. Mmm. Husk. There we are. More of these. Why they got holes in all of them? I don't know. It's the window to the soul. We don't seem to get hungry or thirsty or horny here. <laughs> you know, hungry, thirsty, horny? Come down to the Atomic Wrangler. <laughs> All right. Where's our uh, horrible a-hole? There they are. All right. Okay. Hang on, that bone man seemed a little weak. Should we try vamping out and sucking them off real quick? Let's pop a quick save and give it a shot. Worst case, we revert. I feel like we should have extra potent abilities here, but I don't know. Ooh, gosh, okay, it's, it's quite bad still. They're too powerful. Okay. Let us... Hang on, if we pop reflexes and then revert form, what'll happen? Oh, it actually removes the effect. Okay. They thought of everything. 
Good. What level is our one-handed, by the way? Do we have uh, points or skill points to get another point in our perk? No, we do not. All right, fair enough. Two more lives. There we go. Good. Oh god. I don't see him. Okay. Good thing they don't really tend to drop anything of super important. Ooh, look at this. The underground tunnel of pubes. Love it. Okay. Great. Here's one of these super fucked up crystals. Can I shoot anything at? Here, I'm gonna throw some light at it. Ooh. Okay. Here, what have you got? Silver ring, flawless emerald, plentiful stamina. Just some weird shit. Oh, this is what you eat the soul husk for to make them stop sucking you off, right? Right, that's the soul absorption effect that it's talking about. Alright, well. Yeah, not much of interest in that one. Okay, let's head on over here. Right? Did we look inside of this little doohickey? Oh, Gordon found something. <laughs> Big old pile of shit. Okay. Yeah, so we'll go counterclockwise relative to the uh, cardinal directions. Seems like a good plan. Alright, got some more perp. One of these weird, creepy looking towers. I do love the look of these towers. Especially from afar, it looks so fucked up and neat. I wonder if these are- if these towers are actually these little, like, I don't know, monuments. They just, like, grow. God. Can we enter this thing? No, we cannot. Oh, weird. Alright. Sure. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go on over through this. Okay, very purple in here. Oh. Sure. Alright. What have we got in this? Any creatures gonna pop out after we take all this? Got some fear poison. Feels a little redundant to use fear poison in a place like this, right? <laughs> it's just in the air. Uh -oh. Got something around here. Let's see. Ah, uh, here we are. The bone man popping out. Here we are. Almost leveled up our thing. Oh shit, they're running around outside. Can we actually open this up somehow? I don't know that we can. Okay. Let's head over here. Something of a maze. Soul Husk, Daedra Heart. Good luck out there, Serana. I'm in here looting. Alright. More of these barring our path back out. Sure, sure. Hey, there's the window from before. <laughs> yeah, where is she? Oh, there she is. Good luck, Serana. You got it. I believe in you. Oh, shit. Some noisy lightning. Oh, 
Oh yeah, how cool is that? Okay. Over here. Ooh. Ooh, oh shit! Good lord. Can I go back in that? Oh fuck. <laughs> Alright. Sure. Let's peek around again. Hmm. No, nothing much up here. At least so far. I'm sure there's some sort of weird fucked up treasure underneath the giant suck you off crystal. Oh shit, it's empty. Oh. Is there a note here? Oh yeah, there we go. Page nine. Yeah, maybe we'll be able to meet this Jub person. I don't know. <laughs> All I know of them is from these notes. It's it's like a dream. Maybe they'll wake me up from it. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's go down this way. Or should we just jump on it? No, because I want to see what, what else was there before I went into the... The little portal. There we are. Yeah, there's the nasty shit. Careful, Gordon. Stay away from that. Big old sack full of husks. Good. Oops. Oh, that bone man's pretty weak. It's in your bone man treasure. Nothing much. All right. Sure. Going over here. Good. I wonder if you do go to the Soul Cairn in ESO, right? On the one hand, I could totally see it happening. But on the other hand, if you don't... If you haven't been to the Soul Cairn yet in ESO, especially considering how much vampire content I know for a fact is in ESO, that almost makes it seem like they're definitely saving it for future stuff, right? That makes it seem like the writing is really on the wall. But on the flip side, even if it were an ESO, it could still happen either way, right? It doesn't preclude it, preclude it from uh, showing up future in future installments and all that. But if it isn't, then it definitely seems like it, it, it will show up later, you know? Ah, Rathman. Cool. Look at you wearing some Skyrim looking armor. Okay. Take some of that. Anything else? Hmm. No, not really. Yeah, isn't all the, the like, mist stuff, right, mistmen, bonemen, shit like this, isn't it, like, also in some way, like, riffing on Norse mythology, just like the core game? Correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like that's the case. Maybe that's why it's kind of Skyrim-specific. I'm not sure, though. Because did the Book of Rest and Endings, did it specifically name drop Skyrim? I can't remember. I don't think it does, right? Like this, all this shit, like you could access this from any part of the world. If you manage to have like a Cold Harbor, or not Cold Harbor, a Soul Cairn portal. Alright, well, maybe Serana died. Well, what can you do? I guess we'll, I guess we'll continue on over here. Okay. So the, does the, the one structure that we went through, does it like run across all of this place? That we had to like cross through? Like does it intersect right down the middle? Maybe we already went through it, in fact. Okay, there we are. Got some more weird junk over here. Otherworldly looking stuff. 
Okay. Oh. A little pile of bones. Jeez, maybe we should have went after Arvac when we saw them. Oh. There's a portal out here. Okay, let's take it this time for sure, knowing what we're getting. Oh, shit. Oh, we were down there. Hey, look at all this stuff. Oh, no. Missed me. There we go. Okay, take all that. Storm Thrall, Ultimate Stam. Regeneration. Oh, just a normal skeleton. With some soul husk. Oh, a Dragon Priest Dagger. Huh. Staff of the Storm Atronachy. Oh, okay. feel like, you know, we don't really need any of this, but I feel like I ought to take it either way. Oh, Pala Volume 1. A good read. Okay. Sure. Anything else over here? Nope. All right, we gotta try and jump our way down then. Oh dear. Okay. Over on this side. Great. Okay. Oh, look at this. Some, like, whooshing effect. Oh, this is one of the places that we actually need for the quest. Okay. Oh, fuck. Hey, <laughs> look at this asshole. We're in dragon bone armor. Okay. Is it actually meant to be dragon bone armor, or is it just, you know, they just want some bone like armor? Just something kind of creepy. Well, she's got unique combat call for this? Or at least for fighting the undead? I don't know if it's specific to this place, but hey. Kill the Boneyard Keepers. Wow, a Dragon Bone Mace. I almost feel like I ought to take it, you know? We can trade with Serana, can't we? Hey, look at him in there. Oh, shit! Can I hit them? Yeah, I can. Holy hell. Jeez. Yeah, we got our 60th level up there. Okay. Let's see. One-handed. There we go. Good. Take some of this. Lovely. Alright. Sure. Anything else neat around here? Because we definitely didn't get to explore this little fort or whatever to the best of our ability. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta say, I am a little disappointed in how the, the bone keeper looked. Or the bone yard keeper. <laughs> it's just it's just a really tall guy wearing dragon bone armor, you know? <laughs> Maybe they don't have a head, right? <laughs> Ain't that cool. I guess they really make up for it with the Dragonborn DLC. Just like fuckloads of uh, unique models and everything. Right. Okay. Let's. I guess that is also something I'm looking forward to with Elder Scrolls 6. Not just, you know, the, the Creation Engine 2 and all of the presumably, like, new systems and stuff that they'll add to the game and the world. But also just, like, an Elder Scrolls game on a bigger budget and, like, team size, right? Because, <laughs> you know, around this time, they were probably may probably still at a hundred folks. Well, maybe a little bit more than that now. By the time, uh, Dragon- or Dawnguard comes out, right? Okay. Over here. Anything else? Nah, doesn't seem like it. Alright, let's check the other half. Okay. 
Good, good, good. No, nothing there. Hmm. Anything over this section? Does not seem like it. No, I think we've looked through all of it. Right? I think we have. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, where does this lead to? This is definitely not the same portal from before. Look, soul husk. Okay. A bunch of it, in fact. All right, let's take a peek. Ugh. Where the hell are we now? Oh. Just some kind of like, oh, lightning attractor. Grand or greater soul gems can be placed atop the apparatus. Oh, does it turn it into a black soul gem? Hey, it does. Oh shit. Oh no! A Wrathman appears. There Fair enough. Right? If if these are the results of black soul gems being used. You know, like, hey, good looking out. <laughs> you don't want any more of them being created. You're a little pissed about that. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, I just took a big ass, stupid ass sword. There we go. Dump that back in. Oh hey. A little secret treasure. Okay. Amethyst, diamond, six gold. Some old orcish mace. Can we go up here? Nah. No secrets that away. Alright. There is something else popping up on our radar, though. Down here. Oh, another bone man. Okay. Let's take him out. Good. There we are. Cool. Top ourselves off. Check their remains if we can even find it. Oh look, yeah, there's the remains. The problem is that this pube bush is completely covering it. Except in a little tiny the section. There we go. Alright. Let's heal back up. Very neat that she has the, like, unique callouts for the keepers, huh? A sign of things to come, right? At the very least in Fallout 4, you know? Did we try going inside of this? Oh no, yeah, this is where we fought the keeper. Right, gotcha. It's difficult to place who we fought where because... So far everything just turns into, like, a pile of, like, cum when we kill it. <laughs> which <laughs> which does make it a little bit hard to use the bodies as like markers for like you've been here or whatever right if everybody's just looking like a pile of like nasty inky squidward cum all right let's head on over this way did we go by anything near this crystal here i don't know that we did did we Yeah, I feel like this is one we have not gotten too close to. But maybe I'm mistaken. Now look at that. I feel like we haven't been over at this one. How do you get over to it? I guess we can kind of like jostle our way up. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe we can scream our way over as well. Oh, uh, look. How come this one's got a little green in it? Oh, what does that mean? Look, it's locked up because of it. Huh. What could it mean? It's some kind of a puzzle. Maybe it has to do with the lightning rods. Huh? Let's see if I can cheat my way over them. Whoa! Hey, I can. <laughs> Alright, wow, it's really angry about this. Here, I'm gonna eat some of the husk. We may as well do it, right? There we go. Good. What have you got? Ring, some gems. I'll take the heart. Should we take the lichen? 
Why not? It looks kind of like a soul husk, you know? Anything else? Any little notes? Very risky of them, by the way, putting the note pages just open in the world and not inside of the actual treasure chest. Like, what if that shit got hit by a fucking foos or whatever? You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's heal on up. Because they are all next to treasure chests, at least so far they've been. Oh, look, there's a interior over here. Have we been in this? I feel like we have. Oh yeah, okay. We just looped back around to, yeah, the courtyard where we fought the keeper. Okay, well, this seems like as good a place as any to call it. We fought our first keeper. We still got more exploration to do. Place is fairly sizable, right? Plenty of weird little mysteries to uncover, like, uh, these little green sort of will-o'-the-wisp unit looking things. Wonder if any of the gigantic things get filled with a green. I don't think so. I don't remember anything like that. And that seems pretty memorable, but who knows? All right, until next time, please take care of each other.